Welcome to our latest video that will amaze you with amazing baling machinery and modern agricultural equipment that you need to see. Unbelievable agriculture technology. 10 amazing bale handling machines on another level. First up is the Marcress Swing Max. Hydraulic remote connections are in place for both pulp compactors. Allows control of compressor functions from the steering station. Large motion gearbox with 1000 RPM input shaft and 540 RPM output shaft. Transmits PTO power from your workstation to the first compressor. The second compressor is driven by hydraulic PTO motors. The second is the New Holland Big Baler 1290, which produces straw blocks up to 22% thicker than standard straw compactors. Facilitates more efficient logistics and shipping. Ideal for professional straw compaction contractors and straw compaction block merchants. Features New Holland's next generation design characterized by strong curves. Extended front and side guards provide easy access for maintenance. And here is the Kuhn SW4014 baler wrapper that provides the ability to expand the wrapping machine to easily load the storm. Unlimited visibility when wrapping the storm. The square storm size is 80 by 50 by 200 centimeters. The round storm size is 120 by 60 by 200 centimeters. And the maximum weight of the storm is 1500 kilos. Auto switch function helps maintain the machine automatically and fold from a moving position to field position with just one touch of a button on the ISOBUS control panel. So what's special about the AutoStack FSX? With an automatic and high-speed operation loop, the machine ensures convenience and efficiency during the working process. With a throughput of 100 to 120 bags per hour, suitable for a wide range of compressed products along with a unique collection system that helps load all bag types and sizes. Scalable loading platform providing the ability to increase loading capacity and ideal for centralized care jobs on large farms. Let's explore together the Crone Big Pack 1290 HDP. This square baler was once sought after on the market. With a compression room size of approximately 1200 by 900 millimeters and with an approximate envelope length of 1000 to 3200 millimeters. Capacity 140 kilowatts is equivalent to 190 horsepower. The approximate height of the machine is 3,110 millimeters, helping to ensure easy and flexible operation. With this Vermeer bale hall, there's smart technology and a sturdy frame to handle 5.2 feet by 5 feet packages up to 3,300 pounds. Sounds impressive, right? you'll be even more impressed with the ease of use. The electronic control system includes a color touchscreen that provides automated packaging processes and access to real-time statistics. The solid ground hold system stabilizes the load while the pulp release system rotates up to the lift the residue and release it at a low drop point. The Freeman 280 is different. Some of the standard and available features of this unit include an environmentally friendly tailless bead tier. Keeps your fields clean of wire residue, portable moisture sensors, and remotely mounted color camera for viewing tying machines. The driver's seat has air suspension in the spacious cabin. Coming to the next machine, what is it? The Bollenboy Rundbalen Stapler. It's an advanced ball transport system. It operates twice to six times faster than traditional systems. 
In particular, Ball & Boy is flexible without needing to adjust between the diameters of round balls, helping to save time and effort. And here is the SP3255 self-propelled trailer, which can easily load and stack up to 70 large box balls per hour, all by itself from the comfort of the tractor cab. Features include picking up balls in the same direction that the compressor places them in the field, and simple hydraulic operations using just three remote controls, and custom designed sequence valves. Next comes the Norden MFG, which can handle bulbs from 32 inches to 44 inches in length, and has package sizes of 84 inches wide and from 96 to 132 inches long. Groups of 18 balls save up to 17% time compared to groups of 15 balls because of the ability to hold 20% more balls, reducing the number of packs by 17% and the new Holland Automatic Bale Wagon. Easily loads 16 by 18 bales and a variety of other bales. Designed for a 14 by 18 or 16 by 18 wide three bale pile, both models are available with a mill stack conversion. Allows you to handle large 3x3 three three feet and 3x4 feet rectangular balls for your new Holland Rover. With four vents on the top as well as a recirculation mode, you can control airflow and heat to suit your rider's preferences. Tubeline TLR 5000 AX2 produces approximately 55% stretch of plastic, pre tensioners are serrated. Allowing them to grip and pull the plastic between the rollers, activating the adhesive in the film. Standard on the tubeline bale wrapper models, the tubeline film cut function easily cuts film in a single action. Press and hold the film snap push button located next to the operator's control panel until both pre tensioners have passed. The machine is equipped with a 13 horsepower Honda gasoline engine with an electric start, an 18 amp charging system, a low oil warning on the engine and a fire arrestor for safety, along with hydraulics. And this is the Agronic Multibaler 1220. The machine has a ball size of 100 centimeters in width and 100 to 120 centimeters in diameter, and the ball volume is from 0.8 to 1.1 meters cubed. The storage pit has a capacity of 4 meters cubed and the ball prevention system comes with two driving chains of 107 tight spikes. The machine is also equipped with a dual package with 750 millimeter film stretchers, an automatic film breakage detection system and a control panel hydraulic system with an air cooler. Tandem chassis with 550 R17 floating tires. One product from New Holland with a version BR7060. The minimum drive power requirement is 59 kilowatts. With bore diameters from 0.9 to 1.5 meters and bore widths from 1.2 meters, the vehicle uses standard tire size 480 4517 with a combined width of 2.3 meters. The weight of the vehicle is 3 tons with one L-type axle. Shipping dimensions include a length of 4.47 meters, a width of 2.59 meters and a height of 2.75 meters. Next is the John Deere 456A with a minimum capacity of 26 kilowatts or equivalent to 35 horsepower with a harvest boom width of 187.9 centimeters. The dimensions of the ball are defined as 36 by 46 centimeters in height and width, and the length ranges from 30 to 127 centimeters. The dimensions of the ball are 36 by 46 centimeters in height and width, and the length ranges from 30.5 to 127 centimeters. Right here is the JCR 0850W machine with a rolling capacity of 80 to 120 rolls per hour using a capacity of 50 horsepower. 
The machine is capable of rolling from 60 to 120 rolls of straw per hour and uses a motor with the capacity of 10 horsepower. The moving speed of the machine is 3 kilometers per hour. The Redlands SBA330 is a harvester with a collection width of 800 millimeters. The size of the ball is 800 millimeters in width and 700 millimeters in diameter, with a weight ranging from 15 to 18 kilos. The machine is capable of producing 50 to 60 bales of balls per hour. For electric tractors, the required power is from 25 to 50 horsepower. The size of the machine is 1220 by 1430 by 1200 millimeters, and its weight is 420 kilos. Let's come to the Kuhn VB3100 and see what's different. Harvesting model with a 91-inch rotor with integrated standard mounting bracket and optional rotatable harvesting wheels. Helps harvest easily, adapt to changing soil conditions. Directions for cutting shapes without cams on 91-inch harvesters. It's impossible to ignore the Mascar Multi-Wrap 130. The screen is an ergonomic design with practical buttons that allow activating the necessary function. It has been designed to minimize overall dimensions and improve film stretch, thereby achieving excellent coverage and reducing wastage. Capable of working with a single roll in case the job needs to be completed and the new vertical bundle roll flipping device. Finally, for the John Deere 469, the benefits of the adjustable suspension include the ability to accommodate multiple tire sizes. It allows the height of the boom to be between 330 and 559 millimeters, from the top of the boom to the ground. Eliminates having narrow motor openings on bundling machines that can cause blockages. Thank you for watching all of my videos. Your interest and acceptance is the big thing that makes me want to make more videos. We always listen to your opinions. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Comment down below and we're always happy to answer. Please subscribe and comment to my channel if you like it and if you want us to convey through our next videos.